Hello friends, welcome to Tech Tool. In this video, we will discuss how we can calculate complexities of some iterative programs. Here, I have taken a simple program check which includes only one for loop and inside the for loop, we are only printing a statement. So here, you can analyze that this for loop will execute total n number of times. So you can say that the complexity of this simple program will be order of n. Now we will take some other example. In this program, in check function, we have two for loops. One is your outer for loop and one is your inner for loop. Okay. So now we have to analyze the complexity of this program. So again, we will check the statement that will execute highest number of times. Okay. So here you can see for i equals to one, all these statements will be executed inside this for loop okay and in this for loop we have another for loop and for i equals to 1 all the statements inside this for loop will get executed so we have to analyze how many times this inner for loop will execute so we will start taking one by one the values of outer loops and then we will analyze how many times this inner loop is executing so here Let's write down it here for i equals to 1 for i equals to 1 this will execute how many times here j will be 1 and j will be increment by 1 at every step and, and it will terminate when j will be greater than n for i equals to 1 this for loop will execute a total of n times so for i equals to 1 this inner loop will execute n times fine now when your j will be greater than n then you will come out from this inner for loop then you will again go back to the outer for loop here again there will be i plus plus that means the value of i will be 2 here and again for i equals to 2 the same procedure will follow that means for i equals to 2 again this loop will start from 1 and will go till n Okay, so for i equals to 2, this will also execute n times. For i equals to 3, it will also execute n times. That means for i equals to 1, it will also execute n times. So total it will execute n plus n plus n dot 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 plus n. How many times? n times. So n 1 plus 1 plus 1 dot 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 1. Okay, so how many times this one have occurred? n times n multiplied by n total n square times this printf will get executed. That means we have a complexity of order of n square of this program. In this check function, I have made a smaller modification in inner loop here. Initially, this inner loop was independent of i. For every value of i, this loop was executing total of n times but here it will also depend the value of i so let's examine how many times this loop will execute okay so we will follow the same procedure for i equals to 1 for i equals to 1 if i will be 1 then here this will be okay i'm writing this condition also j is less than equals to that means 1 1 square that means 1 how many times this will execute initially the j the value of j will be 1 and this condition will be true because because 1 is less than equals to 1 that means this will get printed okay so one time tech root has been printed now the value of j will become 2 because of j plus plus now this condition will evaluate as false that means you will come out from this inner for loop so for i equals to 1 the printf will execute only one time fine now for i plus plus the value of i will become 2 and you will come back again in the inner loop here let's write this condition j is less than equals to 2 square that means 4 are you pointing out this difference here j was 
independent of the value of outer loop but here value of j is dependent on the value of i okay so here j will execute till j is less than equals to 4 fine so for i equals to 2 j for i j equals to 1 this printer will get execute then because of j plus plus the value of j will become 2 again this will execute the, this will execute till the value of j is 4 when the value of j will become 5 then this condition will evaluate as false then you will come out of this for loop that means for i equals to 2 this will execute a total of 4 times fine because of this condition for i equals to 3 this will become 3 square that means 9 the condition will become something like this so you can now predict that for i equals to 3 this will execute total of 9 times so on for i equals to n this inner loop will this will be your n square will execute total of n square times okay so here we have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus n square this is nothing but the sum of squares of natural numbers that means 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 n square which is your n n plus 1 2n plus 1 divided by 6 you must be knowing this basic formula and if you solve this the highest power of n you will get is order of n cube so the complexity of this program will be order of n cube so you should be very much aware of this that here in this case there was this inner loop was independent of outer loop but here this inner loop is dependent on outer loop so the complexity will be order of n cube in this case and the complexity was order of n square in this case now we will take some other example so now in this program it looks some complex but it is very simple if you understood what we have discussed so far here you have one for loop another for loop and one more for loop and the innermost statement is printf that means you have to find out how many times this inner loop will execute for that you have to start from the outer loop here for i equals to 1 we will execute all the statements inside this for loop now here also we have j equals to 1 and then we have conditions 1 is less than equals to 1 because here i because here in condition we have used the value from outer loop so if this is true that means you will execute this statement here this will execute total of n by 2 times you can see the value of k is starting from 1 it is incrementing 1 at every iteration okay so this will execute a total of n by 2 times for every time okay so here for i equals to 1 this loop will execute only one time you know from the previous example so and for j equals to 1 this will execute total of n by 2 times so this will execute total of n by 2 times now for i equals to 2 for i equals to 2 the condition will be something as j is less than equals to 4 fine so you know from the previous example it will execute a total of 4 times okay so if it will execute a total of 4 times then for every time this inner loop will execute n by 2 times that means for every times this inner loop will execute this will execute n by 2 times that means total number of times this tactoid will get printed when i equals to 2 is 4 into n by 2 times is it clear to you okay in our first iteration when i was 1 then this loop was executing only one time and for one time this will execute n by 2 times because whenever this loop will encounter it will execute total of n by 2 times so for j equals to 1 this will execute n by 2 times then j the value of j will become 2 and this will 
become false and you will come out of this loop okay now when i when the value of i was 2 then here loop will execute a total of 4 times and then every time this loop will execute n by 2 times that means the total number of times this all part will execute is 4 into n by 2 times similarly for i equals to 3 this condition will become j is less than equals to 9 that means this loop will execute total number of 9 times and for every time this loop will execute n by 2 times that means it will be like 9 multiplied by n by 2 times is it clear now for i equals to n this will execute total of n square times and for every n square times for every iteration of this n square this will get executed for n, n by 2 times so in total when you sum up all these numbers you will get n by 2 plus 4 into n by 2 plus 9 into n by 2 so on plus n square into n by 2 that means n by 2 you can take common 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus n square you know this is the sum of squares of the natural numbers so this will be your n n plus 1 to n plus 1 divide by 6 so after multiplying the highest power of n will be 4 so the complexity of this program will be order of n key power 4 so these were some iterative programs we will discuss some more programs in later videos hope you understood what we have discussed in the video please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching